It's not a holiday camp, um, nor should it be seen as a holiday camp. It's not a jail, it's a detention centre. Okay, incoming. Another one coming. Look at it with a slingshot. Look out. Go. Go. Colin! Back here! Colin! Colin! Five years ago, one of Australia's most discredited policies began to fall apart. As protests, riots, and acts of self-mutilation hit the headlines, Woomera Detention Centre in South Australia closed down. His arms. By, yeah, that's him, 2177. Uh, He's got previous wounds. It's 2177. One month later, Four Corners showed this footage, filmed by the detention centre's officers. Can you open the door, please? Tonight, Four Corners provides the first ever glimpse inside Woomera's replacement, the notorious Baxter Detention Centre. I need to get in, guys. I need to see. Stop! 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 Stop it! Put him down. We have. We're right down. Relax. Calm down. Relax. Calm down. Relax. Calm down. Relax. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. In recent years, Four Corners has highlighted the plight of asylum seekers. Tonight, the guards who worked on the front line at Woomera and Baxter speak out about the challenges they faced and the legacy of those experiences. We were just treated like um, cannon fodder, if you like. We were just numbers on the ground, we got paid a wage, and then when we started to fall over, well, that was it. They didn't want to know us anymore. My marriage broke up. Um, and I tried to commit suicide twice. I, I tried to hang myself. Um, and I took a uh, cocktail of drugs. So this is it? Yes, this is where the uh, officers all came in every morning. They come through this little gate over here, into this office, show our badges, cards, sign in a, a ledger book, then an x-ray machine. Uh, Rod Gigney worked as a guard at Woomera. Last month, he revisited the detention centre with Four Corners. This was the main compound, Quentin, where the hunger strikes all were. They were all lined up here. And across here, they had blankets tied to the fence and mattresses underneath. Most of the ladies had their lips sewn up, either with wire or with um, mesh. And over here was uh, an infamous man who jumped off one of the top of the dongers straight into the razor wire. Woomera now is a deserted, empty shell. It's where thousands of asylum seekers were detained and processed, and it's where one of Australia's most controversial, divisive policies played out. For those who lived and worked here, vivid memories remain. But there's little doubt that for many detainees and staff, Woomera was a profoundly damaging and dehumanising experience. Hey, dear. Here you going. <laughs> when ads appeared in the local papers offering jobs at Woomera Detention Centre, Rod Gigney and Tanya Austin both applied. Like many other South Australians, they saw the opportunity of a steady job with a decent income and plenty of overtime. My family sort of suggested it was time me to get a real job, and uh, so I applied for the job and, uh, yeah, got accepted. Were you surprised by the range of people who were being hired to work at Woomera? Yes, it was probably hit me more than anything that we had little 18-year-old girls that I thought were better off beyond a supermarket counter. But um, a lot of times it turned, it proved me wrong. Mm -hmm. 